perhaps one of the most shocking, unexpected, and truly illuminating moments of my seven days in the Holy Land well, took place in Bethlehem. Now, for those of you who aren't so acquainted with the geography and Swiss cheesy map of Israel, Bethlehem is located in area A of the West Bank. Translation, it is fully governed and policed by the Palestinian Authority. Now, I didn't know that until I got there, but I learned my lesson pretty quickly. You see, this was the scene outside of the Church of the Holy Nativity, where Mother Mary birthed Jesus and laid him in a manger some 2,000 years ago. Our Arab Christian tour guide told me that we should be grateful that the Church of the Holy Nativity remained a Christian church, unlike so many others that had been conquered and converted into mosques. Now. Speaking of mosques, there's a giant one right across the street from the Church of the Holy Nativity. So when we arrived and found scores of men praying, I taped this scene setter and posted it to Twitter. That's the Muslim call to prayer. I'm in Bethlehem. The town in which Jesus was born is now um, controlled by the Palestinian Authority. Islam is their official religion and Muslim calls to prayer right over the Church of the Nativity, where Jesus was born. Day is fall, my friends. That clip received thousands of retweets from mostly Christians who, much like myself, were shocked to find that Bethlehem is now a Muslim town. It's the sort of thing that you just don't hear about across the pond. And that was made really evident from many of the responses that I got. And when I say it's a Muslim town, I mean it. The Palestinian Authority's official religion is Islam, while their basic law code is created on the model of Sharia law. What's more, Bethlehem is governed by a treaty called the Pact of Umar. That's a convention between Muslims and Christians, which contains a list of rights and restrictions on non-Muslims. According to that pact, non-Muslims are granted security of their persons, sure. However, they are not equal to Muslims in the jurisdictions where the pact applies. So much for Israeli apartheid, I guess. Real religious apartheid actually applies in the Palestinian territories. The good news though, non-Muslims are able to claim equal status with Muslims through conversion or waging battle, read jihad with their Muslim neighbors. And I guess you can see that the pact has really done the trick. In the centuries that it's governed the territory, well, Bethlehem has changed from a Christian town to one in which Christians have fled. A mass exodus has taken place so that the birthplace of Jesus only sees less than 20% of its population identifying as Christian.